There are lots of different ways to make a Frayer model. You can make it on chart paper with the whole class, and this is good for pre-K through first grade and maybe first semester second grade students. You can find a template on the internet or make one using Word. Students can draw one in a notebook quickly like this. So you have them draw a rectangle. And then you can put a square, a circle, whatever shape you want to in the middle. Um, and you can put this into a content notebook. You can have it on loose leaf paper, whatever you want to do. Or you can have the kids use paper and fold it. So what you do is you fold the paper in half. And then you fold it again. And then you fold the corner down like that. So when they open their paper, all they have to do is trace the folded lines. and the word goes in the middle. So the academic vocabulary word will then be written in the middle. Okay, from here you can set it up however you want, um, but there needs to be a square dedicated to definition. Okay, and then um, the other squares can be used for lots of different things. Here are some examples. You can have the students draw or write examples. You can have them write a sentence. And then you can have them draw or write non-examples. In the sentence, make sure they're using the word, not just the definition. So they need to be practicing using that word in written form. Another way you can do the definition, you can have them draw a picture as an illustration, a sentence, and then write their understanding. And then here, this is a really good um, opportunity for students to self-check. For example, they can say, I don't understand this word very well, so I'm going to give it two stars because I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. Or they can say, I understand the word, but I need more practice with it, so I'll give it three stars. The rating's done out of four. So if you see a student with four stars, that means they said to themselves, I feel comfortable using this word in any situation I need to, I can tell you what it means, I can give you examples, I can give you non-examples, all that kind of stuff. So this is not only good for students to use, but it's also good for you to check for students' um, self-understanding. Um, the possibilities are endless. You can have the students set it up for whatever you're looking to accomplish. These can be used to teach a word, they can be used to check for understanding, or they can be used um, as assessments and you can take grades on them. Um, following this video clip, you'll see some real examples from classrooms of teachers that have already done this. So we're going to do a read my mind activity from your academic vocabulary set of cards. It's on page six. What it is, it's like you have a secret word. Your academic vocabulary word in your head. You can have the card out so they see it's yellow. It's a science word. They can only ask yes or no questions. They get one turn, one question, and then it goes to the next student. If they guess the word and it's wrong, that was their turn, and we move on, and we keep going until they guess the word. So here we go. All right, guys, so I have this secret word in mind. You don't know what it is, but you do know it's a science word because it's yellow. That was my first question, so I'm, I'm going to give you that. And you'll eventually learn yellow is science, green is math, blue is social studies, pink is graphic arts. You can only ask me yes or no answer type questions, and you get one turn. You can ask a question, I answer it, moves on to the next student. You can guess the word, but that's your turn. So you can either ask a question or guess the word. If you get the, guess the word incorrectly, it goes to the next student. Do you have a question about the game? No, ma'am. Okay. 
to start bouncing. Is it a state of matter? No. Is it a word that we have talked about this week? No. Is it from the first menu? Yes. Did we do a fun activity with this word? Yes. Is it mixture? Yes. Way to go. Good job. All right, your turn. You pick an academic vocabulary word and we will try to read your mind. Okay. Mine is green, so it is a math word. Um, is this word a phrase? Like more than one word? Yes. Is it a place value word? Yes. Is your word 10,000? Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. All right, so we're going to do another activity from the Academic Vocabulary Activities and Games Packet, and this one is Chair Talks. It says you can divide your class into two teams, and we're going to do it as a whole class. It's kind of like charades. You guys can read the instructions when you get your packet, so here we go. One, one word. word. Our words. We think blowing is one of our words. Okay. <laughs> Chili. Freezing. Cooling. 